Tiana. I'm 12 years old and I'm very pleased all of you could join us today. The journey of this book started when I was just three years old and my younger brother Cruzy was born. When he was only two and a half, he was diagnosed with autism. He had to go to a special nursery that was three hours away from where we were currently living. And every morning my mum or dad would drive there and back. A lot of time had to be given to my brother, which I didn't really understand at the time because I was so young. However, three years later, Cruzy started going to the same primary school as me. I liked having him with me, as I was able to look out for him and help him with his work and play with his friends. So from this book, I really hope that primary school children can learn about autism and grow up to be kind to everyone, because autism will get more common as the years go on, and I don't want children or even adults with autism being judged. A lot of people are unsure of what they don't know or don't understand, and if behaviour doesn't quite fit the norm of whatever the norm is, it makes people feel awkward. If you feel awkward, you often project that outwardly, then maybe don't associate with people or avoid them or, you know, maybe even put some barriers up to them, which of course has a knock-on effect and children or adults that are on the receiving end of that respond accordingly, you know, if you're given something, you feed off that. So if it's a negative, you probably feed off that too. You've got children at one end of the autis autistic uh, spectrum, which uh, can lead pretty much normal and full lives. And, uh, and, and for those children, it may just be that they appear to be slightly different at school. And that's where the understanding and the education needs to come in to try and make certain that all the rest of the kids accept them and just accept these little nuances of difference and, and don't see it as something to be ridiculed or bullied. But then at the other end of the autistic spectrum, you get some kids that are severely autistic, where the families have a, a really, really difficult time in, in every way. Um, some of the children uh, won't eat properly, they'll eat dirt out of the garden. They, you know, there's, at the extreme end, the children are very, very difficult to uh, relate to, for the parents to relate to and manage. My son is on the autistic spectrum, so we have our own experiences with autism. Um, and it's awesome getting it out there, helping people understand, helping people learn about it, and help children who are on the autistic spectrum. and I'm 11 years old. I have autism and ADHD. I, I go to dance at Pineapple every, every Sunday and I, love, and I love dance because it makes me happy and helps me forget all my worries at school where people don't just don't understand me, especially my teachers. Other children think that I'm, I am just silly and annoying. I am always different to everyone. Dancing makes me feel happy, but I can still find things hard when there is sudden loud noise or or f feeling worried about something because I don't understand. In my class, in my class at dancing, I met Sienna. She is really nice, and she is older than me and helps me if I don't understand something. She is lots and lots of fun and makes me laugh. She also loves touching. She also loves touching my hair annoyingly. <laughs> if my if my shoelaces come undone, I don't like asking the teachers to help, as I feel silly that I can't do them. Uh, but Sienna will just see see and come and do them up before anyone notices. Thank you, Sienna, for being my friend and for writing your book to help more girls and boys who are just like me. So 70% of children that are diagnosed with autism go to mainstream school. And statistics also show us that by the time they get to secondary school, 60% of them um, have reported that they have been bullied. And this is often due to their social differences, perhaps on the playground, not being able to articulate their words, um, and that's really difficult. No one really understands. Unless you have a child with autism and you live with it, you don't understand the pressure that is often put on siblings. And they really are the unsung heroes. And she represents the next generation. Um, so thank you to Sienna for writing this book and for leading the way forward.